on a historic day when we are getting the results of the Indian general election. I am Sabha Nakvi in a conversation for Frontline magazine with data scientist, election analyst Ashish Ranjanji who has been with the best organizations that examine the science of election analysis, polling uh, which is uh, CSDS, CPR, Trivedi Center and now he runs his own outfit. Yes. So, after a hectic morning full of huge events, both of us have taken time out to have this conversation. So, I will start off by asking you, has Narendra Modi lost the election? Uh, the answer is uh, yes, of course. Uh, in terms of number, because the BJP still uh, with uh, 240, uh, 240 seats, so they are 32 seats behind the majority marks. You know, NDA is close, uh, across the uh, uh, the majority mark. However, we know that the Nitish Kumar, the Chandra Babu Naidu, TDP, and few others like Shiv Sena in the groups are the alliance partner. And we have seen uh, the autocratic nature of the current regime. So there might be the possibilities that uh, BJP might be a leading party with the huge uh, more than two 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 forty six, but. It could be there would be the possibility that what happened in 2019 in Maharashtra, while the BJP was still a leading party, however, they could not be able to form the government. So, uh, this, uh, this election Modi has lost because this election was completely on his name. So, uh, Prime Minister Modi said ki Modi ki guarantee, he did not say BJP ki guarantee, it was always Modi ki guarantee, Modi ka naam. Uh, BJP's other state leaders was gradually diminished in his era. So now we have landed up at this point. But before we get into what will happen next, I would like you to help me analyze this result. Has the BJP lost vote share? Has the opposition picked up vote share? Uh, in terms of vote share, BJP is still with 38 percent vote share till now, the, what the ECI website is saying, which is more or less similar to the what they got in 2019. Hmm. Uh, the alliance partner also got some significant votes here. But the th major thing is Congress after two elections has been able to gain 4 percent votes here. That's so, then the party is more than 30, 23 percent votes here now. Uh, more significantly, Congress gained votes here in double digit in Uttar Pradesh, which is the uh, the states where BJP, uh, the Congress has been consistently declining. So, and, and we all know that that's the Actually, when we are analyzing who will, who has got what, it's, it is the Uttar Pradesh who has been surprising for each and every election. This time, it has surprised. And what, uh, is, uh, what is the most surprising and inter interesting thing? The Samajwadi Party, which the Akhilesh uh, Yadav led the party, has been losing 2017, 2019, 2022 assembly election as well. They got more seats. Uh, till now than the BJP in Uttar Pradesh. I know, it's astounding. I have to say it's my home state, so I'm completely claiming, even though I live in Delhi now, UP has been the most amazing place. What is also, at the time when we are having this conversation, the seat of Faizabad, the Samajwadi party is leading and uh, BJP is behind and that is where the Ram Mandir is located. And uh, we, it has just been an incredible uh, sort of uh, election there. Now, uh, but I would like to point out to you that even in the assembly election of UP, which I covered, SP had a very healthy vote share. So, can we see a translation of that vote share to the Lok Sabha in this time? It's just that SP lost the election, but their vote share was 36 percent or so. Uh, uh, even in the 2017, uh, 2022 uh, assembly, assembly election, election. The I'm SP talking 2022. Was, yeah, uh, the SP alliance was th around 37 percent vote share. Which was, which was historic for that party uh, as well. What happened in 2019, uh, 2022, BJP did not lose their vote share and they still the around yeah. 4 to 5 percent yeah. vote share gap and that is why BJP won the majority. What is interesting and what is the significance of UP is not that just that the BJP got less seat than the SP. It is also the, the, uh, the resurgence of the social justice party. Oh. So, in North India, I mean South it happened in 17 and 80s, yeah. in North India it happened in 90s mm. and, uh, mm. and early 2000. It is a Mandal parties like RGD in Bihar, BSP, B, uh, SP in mm. Uttar Pradesh, 
they have been continuously growing but 2014 mm. was their you know uh, yeah, lowest yeah. point and they have been struggling for that mm. after a long almost a decade mm. they are insurging even in bihar when you say that of course rjd has not gained the significant in terms of seat share but the party is leading in terms of vote share oh, the rjd, RJD is yes, leading in terms according of according to share? eci website Okay, I, are, I'm just very uh, curious. I want to stick with you about UP and the Congress. Yes. Because the Congress spoke about social justice. It talk, talked about a X-ray of society. And it raised issues, which because the Congress was not a Mandal era party. It suffered because of the Mandal, emergence of Mandal parties. Are we seeing that besides the SP itself, the Congress is also reviving on its own? Is it possible to measure it since they were in an alliance? Yes, of course. And there is a two significant point. I was, uh, I also visited uh, Uttar Pradesh, mm. a uh, few things happen after a long time. So I met few of the PASI, uh, which is also the Central UP, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, which has been voting for the BSP for the long time. After a, a long era, they are going shifting to the Congress and the SP Alliance. And what is, what was there even, I was in, uh, you know, Mohanlal Ganj uh, yes, in Lucknow yes. and Barabanki yes. as well. One of the, I mean, the candidates in Mohanlal Ganj was the SP candidate and Pasi said we never voted for the SP, but due to the Congress, we are voting for the SP mm -hmm. because Congress is our party. One more anecdote, that's the many, uh, just, just uh -huh. to uh, connect yeah, yeah. the dots, because many uh, the lower caste and especially the Dalit thought uh, that BSP is losing their hold, now come back to the, their original party, which is the Congress. So the significant for the Congress is the Dalits or the lower uh, caste has been they, the, the party has been able to you know up. attract those uh, who have lost their support for a long time. I, beyond Rahul Gandhi, I mean we have to also mention and I must say this here, it's also Malik Arjun Kharge. Of course. Of course, the, uh, the Congress has in this day and age the Dalit as a president. And that is significant because uh, with the decline of Mayavati, with her not choosing to uh, fight. So, uh, so, can we sort of see a Congress revival all across India? But su surprisingly, in Telangana, with the just one, they are equal with equal with the e BJP. Equal number of seats, but in terms of votes here, Congress is leading. Congress got uh, forty percent votes here till now, okay. and the BJP has around thirty-six point something like uh, thirty-six to thirty-seven percent votes here. The other but thing one is, more point okay, I yeah. want to add, yeah. when we say Rahul Gandhi or Malika, Malika Arjun Kharge, I mean, one thing uh, we have been uh, seeing uh, uh, in last 10 years uh, after the 1970s uh, and 1980s, the individual personality cult. This selection is not all about the personality cult. Okay. I mean, every each and everyone has their role and we should respect the uh, mandate, not in terms of that's mm -hmm. I defeated someone or, or someone defeated me, it's a collective mm. achievement, collective goal and that's why we are seeing no single party is going to reach the, uh, cross after the majority long. mark Absolutely, after a, a long time. It's, a, it's actually a big uh, victory for federalism. Yes. We are seeing state parties of also course. perform well. Uh, at the same time, uh, I, I find it a bit confusing that UP, my home state has delivered this sucker punch to the Bharatiya Janata Party, but Bihar on the other hand which has a social, actually Bihar, the numbers numerically, the demographics have lower number of high caste people, Savarnas. It has more, but yet Bihar has not been able to defeat the BJP coalition, not the BJP entirely. Can you just expand on the reasons for this? Um, this and it has poverty, it has all those things. It has, it, it's even more, uh, there's greater levels of poverty I have seen in my travels in Bihar than you see in UP also. So, yeah. So, in Bihar, I mean, just uh, sometimes before I was looking, the JDU was was leading, I mean, the number one party than in terms of seat than the BJP and other party in Bihar. So, one thing, please remember that JDU is also a Mandal, uh, part Absolutely. of the Mandal politics, yeah. the, what we say, we have mm. been talking about the social justice party. Mm. Except 2004, in last two, three, two and a half decades, we have been consistently seeing whoever in the part uh, ruling in the state assembly, uh, Bihar gave mandate major, uh, most of the time to the NDA party. I, of course, the demography, some of the constituency and, and the alignment of 
द नीतीश कुमार लेड जे डी यू एंड द बीजेपी इन टू थाउजेंड फोर नाइन एक्सेप्ट दी एंड द जे डी यू वॉज नॉट इन द फ्रे एट दैट टाइम देर वॉज अ ट्राइंगुलर कंटेस्ट एंड बीजेपी एंड एल जे पी गॉट द थिंग सो बीजेपी बिहार इज स्टिल ओनली अ स्टेट वेयर बीजेपी हैज बीन नॉट बीन एबल टू रूल्ड I am I'm saying about the Hindi belt. Yes, I'm not yes. saying, saying about the all the. Yes, all yes, the yes. I, I get your point. So what we are saying here, just to cl- clarify this, on its own, the BJP would be nowhere in Bihar. Yes. It is the coalition partners. Exactly. There is in in uh, Uttar Pradesh, the BJP was there with the double engine. What they say, double engine. Yogi ji, Modi ji, Ram Mandir, Mathura, Kashi, sab kuch. Everything was in the place. Yes. Hindutva, personalities, everything. There is in Bihar. It is still with the. BJP plays a different politics, and contrary to the propaganda that the BJP's allies will do badly, BJP will do well. That does not seem to have happened. Yes, in the Bihar. allies have have done well. Exactly, in the Bihar especially. Okay, so that's very interesting. Now, for this conversation, we have had important uh, mandates from the state assemblies of Odisha and Andhra Pradesh, but we are not going to. I'm not going to analyze that. Not out of neglect. Yes. But because I think we need, we are trying to get the big national picture. If there is a trend, even if the trend is regionalism, even if the trend is revival of the Congress or decline of the BJP, is uh, or whatever. Let's go to the other benchmark. The the big state is Maharashtra. What has happened in Maharashtra? So fortunately, I also visited to Maharashtra just for mm-hmm. a limited mm-hmm. period. One thing we found, I mean, the common trend that's Maharashtra uh, uh, people. thoughts and they were realizing that they have been cheated hmm. they have been cheated because their original party uh, the sip sena and the ncp has been broken just yeah. for the power struggle and something like that uh, of course bjp in terms of uh, vote share um, the leading party uh, because they they, they, they uh, the party was contesting yes, more yes, seats than the other seats. other, and other it's seats things. who is coming but front. however the obc and the maratha especially the maratha reservation hurts the india alliance most and and the people also thought that the sindhe or the uh, the ajit pawar led NC, uh, ncp uh, almost cheated or some in hindi we call the gaddar and gaddar, it was the common no, say, gaddar, com- traitor uh, common just to elaborate yeah, exactly. gaddar in hindi uh, traitor in the twitter huh? and also one thing for this election as well you know uh, it, it it did not happen in 2019 but this time it happened after the you know uh, the conversation on the electoral bond and other kinds of thing people realize that's the corruption which bjp or modi uh, used to say ki we are non corrupt or something like that but the electoral bond kind of things and the ajit pawar sindhe these kind of you know political uh, uh, tactics hurt them badly i mean it, so it will not come in the numbers yes, but yes. yeah they say i also believe that everyone kept saying electoral bonds will have no effect the you know all adani issue but it seems to have because in one case one person said to me modi ji is is for the rich we have to yes. find our own party but i want to also ask you that there were two chief ministers who were arrested uh, but th- there doesn't seem to have been a sympathy with them with aap and uh, and uh, jharkhand is it or is it difficult to measure or state is different state is different when it will come to the assembly election you will see some reflection okay. with the demography as i said ki assembly election and parliamentary election is something different okay the demography even in delhi or even in jharkhand is something uh, although in jharkhand there is a 26 27% uh, tribal population right but they are concentrated in some of the area oh, so, so they cannot they spread can, out uh, it's not the spread out and, and in, in delhi what is the reason why after delhi, that delhi you know it's a middle class it's a so called no, there many poor base majboot ho raha hai desh mein bahar ki wo cheeze ho raha hai and also people thought ki I mean, the, so we the, have the, to see the vote shares if our vote share yes, has improved yes, and yes, Congress. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, and Kanaiya book, Kumar, I'm very interested in knowing what happened to a dynamic figure like Kanaiya Kumar. I'm honestly curious about that. Ki, see, what is the vote share? Uh, I I Who, don't have po- the exact idea about uh, the uh, special uh, yeah. the vote share seat share of this uh, northeast Delhi, but I think Kanaiya was trailing. Uh, Kanaiya. I know he's trailing, but what is the margin? Mm. I would like to know. Huh? <laughs> I don't anyway, I, we, because we, I don't have the see. exact okay. numbers. So. The other thing is, uh. BJP made a big deal, big deal, and the PM uh, at one point he also suggested that he could have the divine powers, and but uh, he also went and meditated in uh, 
Vivekananda Rock yes. and a lot was said that this is the final breakthrough in the South India and ideologically it was actually about Tamil Nadu because the ideology that dominates the politics of Tamil Nadu is uh, the DMK, the Dravida ideology, the whole issue of Sanatan became a big issue because of uh, Tamil Nadu politics and they seem to have not done very much in Tamil Nadu. Am I wrong or am I right? Can you tell me? No, you are right because uh, BJP so far till now they have just got around 10% vote share in Tamil Nadu. Mm. Uh, I mean many exit polls suggested around 20% or something like that. But they they have not uh, gone uh, got what they were expecting. The most important thing that even the 10%, 15% vote share if it concentrated in some of the area, for example, uh, their state president, Anamalai, Anamalai. Uh, many believe that he could win. I mean, we don't have, we haven't uh, gone there, so uh, can't say ki why he did not win. But, but the thing is, you know, the party, there is a two, uh, uh, the growth of any political party based on two things. Mm -hmm. One is the organic growth and second is unorganic. When you know, for the for example, in West Bengal, mm. BJP's growth is unorganic, unorganic. not the organic. Uh, the, the, and Why is it unorganic? Because it's an outsider party? Or? Outside, when you know, when you grow with the uh, 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 BJP in Northern India, especially in West yes. India, it's an organic party where they have a oh. cadre, they have their ideological base. One in, Tam in in West Bengal, you will see most of the their leader either from uh, left party or TMC party, I get you. I something get like point, that. Their yeah. cadre as well in the thing. So and even you uh, realize that it, it actually Ram who become Ram in West Bengal mm -hmm. because they thought ki I can't we Ram can't defeat Ram. the TMC. You mean left, so left left became exactly. Ram. And Ram now left. the left went and fought with the left. Yes, the left was in the ca in yes. the contest this time. Yes. We don't know the seat yet. Exactly. So in Tamil Nadu, even the BJP got 10 percent, it was the loss, it, it was the just the gain of anti-incumbency vote, which always in every state there. So BJP got something, it's not surprising, and because this time they contested more seats, that's why their vote share has been grown. So uh, they, uh, the party will have to, you know, go uh, for a long time, they will have to build the organization, not just the one leader, they will yeah. have to produce more leaders. I think, uh, they will I think their model do. for a certain areas is buy, break. I think the people have also reacted to that. You get also over, I mean, how many people were purchased in, uh, we don't know whether you can call it purchased, but how many were lured over in Bengal, you know, in uh, and all of that. So, Bihar has been underwhelming for Tejasvi. Even though you are saying his vote share is the largest. Yes, he is, uh, I mean, in terms of vote share, the RJD is in largest Has party. CPIML made any inroads? Yes, votes? yes, yes. I think they have gained and also I think they were leading in some uh, okay. seats. Uh, I think some uh, sometimes they were leading in Begusara as well, where the Giriraj Singh is contesting. I don't think they contested, but uh, I, the reason I am mentioning CPIML is because in this ML in Karakat and some Karakat other Karakat uh, is because yeah. in the age of funding, when such big money is going to political parties, obviously the BJP has the most, but even other parties in the south and all are rich. Uh, this ML has been raising with 2020 20 rupee donations. So if they win even one seat, it is of great symbolic importance in my view. Yes. You know? Of course, of course. They, they, they fight with such a lean. Uh, yeah. And actually that is the electoral politics. Where, yeah. when and where you are as a party member, you are going to watch the voter or citizens and asking these are our these are, promises, yes. these are our manifesto, these are our candidates, I mean to whom you need to, to the elect people. their representative. What Mr. Modi gave us. Whatever, he is a successful politician, yes. one is not debating that. But he gave us a grand show of himself, non-stop about himself, new costumes, new narratives from this, uh, you know, Vishwa Guru, all of that. But there was this, I would be very happy to see any contest where a candidate is going to the people, collecting the money from the people and then contesting. Because I think electoral bonds and all have shown us how rotten political finance has made our democracy. Exactly, exactly. And maybe the people of India are giving us a way out of this, yeah. you know. And yeah, even in social media, uh, mm. when you said ki 
people are going to the people, uh, the, the candidates are going to the people and asking for the money and contesting election. I think few uh, example in social media came when Congress candidates in, in, in Madhya Pradesh uh, went to okay. the voters and said, Ki chanda dije or thoda musse election. But one thing, I mean, just because you were talking about the Modi and you started with the Modi says Torkabai. One thing, please remember, this is first time in 24 years Modi has lost the election. Oh, yeah, you're right. After becoming a chief minister in Gujarat he in never 20, lost 2000, an he never lost election. So this very, very significant. I've actually covered the whole process and you've just pointed out something. Election. I've covered it. He has never lost an election. Never. You're this right. This is the first election. And yeah. in that sense, it's a historic. Yeah. And it's a historic. Uh, and two sides, Ayodhya, they might lose the Faisabad seat. Varanasi, the majority is not going to be much. I'm yes. sure he'll win. Uh, yeah. It's coming down the majority. Yes. Uh, in, uh, the other and question is, we haven't just to touched add, on it. Just yeah. to add, yeah. and this is the beauty of democracy, that's despite of you being a powerful leader or within your party or even in the country, people can defeat you with, towards your but arrogance. But do you think that all our vigilance and highlighting the, yeah, the questions of what the EVM, the Form 17C, electoral rolls, all of that, don't you think it's made people vigilant? The people who will be contesting, it's made them vigilant. Yes, yes. And in terms of, you know, where there was a, uh, some social viral video about the, where the many of the BJP candidates say, we need 400, uh, 400 seats to change something. And that pick, you know, we might uh, forget that it was the Akash Anand from the BSP who initially during the first phase of polling in Uttar Pradesh clearly said ki ye 400 seat kyon chahte hain ye samvidhan badalna chahte hain ah, you're right ye samvidhan badal denge hamara arakshan khatam kar denge ah. and you know when something which is you know i mean i in 2015 he in said Bihar, that no you're right it's that. a very there good was a viral video. it's not that ki i no i know but it's an important yeah. reminder at this point and, and this is the clicking point this thing spread across the India. And I remember, I just mentioned the 2015 in Bihar election, I was in Saharsa doing the, my field work. Uh, so one of the uh, SC persons, and uh, he, he even, even did not bear the full clothes. I said, Ki, uh, Kisko vote denge? He said, Ki, nahi, uh, BGP ko to nahi denge. I said, Why? The Mohan Bhagwat kera arakshan khatam kare. I said, Ki, aapke ghar mein koi padha likha, uh, kisi ko arakshan ka lab mila? To nahi mila. आपके घर में कोई पढ़ा लिखा है जो तो बोला नहीं तो हमने बोला फिर आपको क्या दिक्कत है से कि अभी नहीं मिला अभी नहीं है हमारे पास कोई हमारे जनरेशन में तो आएगा उसको तो मिलेगा उसका हक दैट इज द एस्पिरेशन समथिंग लाइक दैट आई थिंक वी सिटीजन सेड कि दिस इज आवर राइट आई थिंक वी कवर्ड अ लॉट आई थिंक वी हैव लेफ्ट आउट राजस्थान व्हाट हैपेंड देयर विद द कांग्रेस सडनली द बीजेपी बैशियंस इट्स अ जाट फार्मर पॉलिटिक्स इट्स अ जाट फार्मर इट्स अ यूथ ड्यू टू अग्निवीर एंड अदर जाट फार्मर्स राजस्थान हरियाणा Punjab, 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 this is one bell. Yeah, exactly. And they lost. They lost. Even Haryana. Haryana yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have, uh, we have the BJP. It's an interesting result. Suddenly, and I, I want to make this point as we wind it up, uh, that uh, there were two parties which neither would collaborate, uh, which would not oppose BJP or Modi in parliament. They were collaborating happily. One was YSRCP and one was Naveen Patnayak. And Both they lost. were considered very smart guys none of their funds would be blocked and all and they were there was even a rumor that bjd and bjp would join each other yes so by giving this party so much space now the bjp has consumed defeated them yes so so they never stood for anything because if if bjd thinks and look at look at what's happened to them they you know? lost They've lost. They have both uh, both these parties have lost both collaborated in binary politics binary. either you will have to this side or that side you can't be both. So, you know, we have such wonderful messages coming out of that. People have fought for the constitution of India, right? Would yes, you say that? Yes, yes, yes. Even in the parties? The, yeah, the, the one, uh, I mean, despite of who is winning and who has uh, lost the regime, the one thing, the beauty of this election and the which is the more historical thing that's uh, I don't remember, but this is the first time I have been because I am not too uh, experienced. That the people realize what is the constitution, yes. what needs to them for the constitution. The people in the UP said, Ki hum we, we, ho we, we will fight for the constitution. That's what the people have said. The people have fought this election. They have defeated a party which has been the richest party ever in India's history, the Bharatiya Janata Party. 
they have defeated a personality like Narendra Modi, who yes. people were told till yesterday cannot be defeated. Thank you so much for having Thank this conversation. So